and welcome back. Or if you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Leia. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today's video is all about some products that the Canadians made me buy. Now these aren't products that are Canadian made, although some of them are Canadian brands. I am specifically talking about Canadian influencers here on YouTube that made me buy it. Yes, I know I have a mind of my own and I am able to choose and buy things of my own accord. No one, you know, forced me to buy these things. But these but particular purchases were all a direct result of some of my fellow Canadians and their influence on me. As always, I will leave a link in the description box for all of the channels that I am talking about today so you can go and check them out. The first person that I have to blame would be Nicole Chantel. And uh, she had a couple of things here for me. And the first thing that I have here is this Milani lipstick. It's in the shade I Am Fabulous, and it's part of their Bold Matte line, and it is just a beautiful color. I mean, the packaging itself is really nice. It's just classy. Nicole Chantel has very fair skin, and this looks beautiful on her, and I'm more of a light to medium skin tone, and this works really nice for me as well. It's one of my favorite lipsticks, um, favorite shades, favorite formulas, and this was a direct result of Nicole Chantel. Another thing that... I was influenced to buy because of one of her reviews. I don't actually have any more. I used it up, but it was the Maybelline Snap Scara Mascara. Now this wasn't a favorite for me, but it did work and I used it up and you know, it was a good purchase. The next Canadian I'm placing blame on would be Cosmetic Chaos. Um, and I have a couple of things here from her. One of them would be this Too Faced uh, fruit cocktail, blush duo, and pomegranate. Um, now I do have a couple of the eyeshadows from this line and I have another blush and I have a highlighter and bronzo co bronzer combo, but this one I passed on originally when I saw it at Winners and then I saw her talking about it and the next time I went to Winners it was there and I decided to pick it up as a direct result. Um, it's this plum berry shade here, shades, I guess it's two, and that's what it looks like. Let's see. And I have enjoyed this and it does smell, yes, it smells lovely. The second thing that is a direct result of Cosmetic Chaos's um, review, and I mean like I'm watching her video on it and I'm literally on the um, website purchasing this as she's talking about it. And it would be the It Cosmetics It Girl Beauty Book. And I believe this was last year, like 2019's version of it. I'm familiar with the It Girl books. They usually come out around holiday time. This would have come out holiday 2018, but I purchased it in the summer of 2019. Um, so yeah, they come out with these books and it has a variety of products in it. Um, I have, it has been well loved, especially this particular page here. We have your Bye Bye Under Eyes and then you have your Bye Bye Pores powder and then you have the Bye Bye Bronzer and it's uh, slowly falling out on me. <laughs> then you have some lip products, you have a blush, you have a highlighter. This is very awkward to hold and you have a mirror and then you have Oh, oh no, I'm losing a whole pile of my powder. Ah, okay, we're gonna be careful. <laughs> then up here, oh, it's all falling out. Okay, let's try this. You have some uh, primer, you have some eyeshadow, you have a liner, and then you have a brow powder. This is a beautiful product. It looks pretty on my vanity. It sparkles under the lights, um, but it is very versatile and it has a lot of products in it that I am using. So this was a really good purchase for me, especially because, because I was very curious about the concealer and the powder, and I was able to try both of them in here for a fraction of the cost if I had purchased them both individually. The next Canadian that I have to blame, I'm pretty sure it's this Canadian, so I could be wrong, but at any rate, it is a Canadian that influenced me in this purchase because this is a Canadian product. And I remember hearing them talk about it specifically, but I'm pretty sure it was Allison Chase that I heard talking about it. And it is the Marcel face powder. And this is a finishing powder. It's in the shade translucent medium and it has like a slight fleshy tone to it. It's not quite pink, but it's not yellow or white either. This is a very finely milled loose powder. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to see much in there. But yeah, it's just a beautiful powder and it's drugstore pricing here in Canada, although this brand is a little pricier than some of the other brands at the drugstore. But nonetheless, you're not looking at like a $50 price tag for this big tub of powder. It's more close to $15 to $20. The next Canadian that I have to blame would be Breakups to Makeup, Demetra. Um, and she influenced my purchase of the Dior, uh, what is this? The, yeah, Dior Backstage Foundation. Now this ended up being a little bit more costly for me because when I ordered it, 
um, I ordered the wrong shade. I ordered 3.5 and I got it and it was way too dark. So I ordered the 2.5, which these both work fantastic for me for the summertime. Um, the 2.5 is good kind of in spring when I'm starting to get more of a tan. And then <clears throat> the 3.5, once I have like a full on tan, we're in we're in the middle of July. This one works for me or I can mix them as well. So I am going to use them, but this thing is like $50, but you still get a, a good quantity in it. Um, but I had to buy two because I bought the wrong shade and I didn't want to go and return it. So I ended up, yeah, buying the second one and it cost me a hundred dollars in foundation. So thank you, Demetra. <laughs> And I do like it. It's not a favorite, but I do like it and I will use them up. I'm not upset that I bought them. I'm mad more at myself because I didn't pay attention to the shade. I knew I needed 2.5, but for whatever reason, I clicked 3.5. Thankfully, the next couple of items that I was influenced from breakups to make up um, from by however grammar wise we where I can't speak. <laughs> the next items that I had seen Breakups to Makeup talk about were much cheaper than the Dior foundation and they would be the Rimmel Stay Satin Liquid Lip Colors. I have two of them here. I have the shade Yuppie and Shoulder Pads and they're just both really nice lipsticks. They're, I mean, they're liquid lipsticks, but they're not matte liquid lipsticks. They are a satin as the name implies. They feel beautiful on the lips. They wear beautiful. They don't go on patchy or anything like that. They're just like a really nice creamy satin formula and those are them there. The next Canadian I have to blame wasn't really for a purchase but it led it to a different purchase. So the influencer that I am referring to would be Sincerely LGS and she was very kind and she sent me this Violet Voss um, Holy Grail Fun Size Palette or HG fun size palette. It just looks like this. And I had never tried Violet Voss shadows before and I fell in love. I love the formula of these shadows. I love how they wear. I really like this palette. It's just pretty. But as I said, it was kind of my introduction to Violet Voss. So that was thanks to uh, Sincerely LGS. So thank you, Lisa, for that. Because then when the next person that I have to blame for some of these items talked about it, I ran out and bought this particular Last palette. Canadian yeah. that I have to blame would be Make Up Your Mind. And um, yeah, she was talking about another Violet Voss palette and after I had tried this HG palette, thank you Lisa, um, I knew I had to run out and buy this and it is the Sugar Crystals palette by Violet Voss and yeah, Make Up Your Mind was talking about this palette and she was raving about it and I mean it's beautiful. It is a rainbow palette. Now I would say if you are wanting to start playing with color, this is a fantastic palette to have in your collection. If you aren't comfortable with color but it's something you want to start getting into, this is great. Not only not only is the formula fantastic in here, you have all your mattes here, you have your shimmers here, and then you have a row of duochromes here. And everything's monochromatic for each column. So it's very easy to put a cohesive look together that's not as stark and kind of bam in your face. If you're gonna wear color and you're starting out, sometimes it's nice to have it a little bit more subtle until you're more comfortable with it. At least for me it was. And even now, I don't mind wearing color, but I still prefer to have a more cohesive look. I don't like a stark contrast for myself in the crease compared to um, what I have on my lid. Although today you might not get that because of what I have going on. But anyway, this again, fantastic palette. And this was because of Make Up Your Mind, but also because of Sincerely LGS because of having tested the formula from another palette that she had sent me. Also from Make Up Your Mind, I have the Marcel Eye Makeup Remover. This is the oil-free version. She raves about this. I'm pretty sure it's the oil-free version she raves about. At any rate, she loves the Marcel Eye Makeup Remover. Um, I tried this, it's okay. Um, it is nice if you want an oil-free one. I, just I, just I need one with some oil in it because this is a little bit too hard on my eyes to get my waterproof mascara off and everything. Um, but otherwise, it's really nice. If I didn't wear waterproof mascara, this would definitely be a go-to. But because I do, I need something that breaks down those oils in the mascara a little bit more. And this doesn't this does it, but it takes a little bit more rubbing and um, ag agitation on my eyes. And I don't like that. So... This I will pass along to my daughters who sometimes play with makeup but they don't wear waterproof so this will be perfect for them. The next product that I have that was a direct result of Make Up Your Mind's influence would be the NYX Eyebrow Pencil. This is the Microbrow, pen microbrow Pencil and this is in the shade um, Brunette. Um, I really like the formula on this pencil and I like you get quite a bit in here. Does it say? Yeah. 
0.09 grams, which I think it was about double what comes in the e.l.f. micro pencil. So they end up working out to around the same price. Um, but this color is a little bit too warm for me. I can make it work, but I need to find a different shade that's a little bit cooler, um, not so warm, but otherwise I do like the formula of it. It is more of a waxy formula than a creamy formula, but it's not super waxy that it's pulling my brow hairs out either. The last item that I have that Make Up Your Mind made me buy is by Neutrogena, and it's their Hydro Boost Gel Cream, and this is a hyaluronic acid moisturizer. Um, it's a gel-based ba gel um, moisturizer. It looks like I haven't used it at all. I've used it a little bit. Oh, and it's dumping out. I've used it a little bit. It's just a really nice, um, it's just a really nice light moisturizer. I've been looking for something to dupe out this, and this is the Glam Glow Water Burst Hydrated Glow Moisturizer. Um, this again was a gel based, um, it's empty, but this was a gel based moisturizer and I really liked it. It wasn't too heavy on my skin. It didn't break me out or anything, um, but this comes with a hefty price tag. But I mean, the scent in here is divine. It smells like an orange creamsicle. I love it. I love the way it was on my skin, but I needed to find something that was more affordable because I wasn't going to fork out the $60 or whatever it is for this. Make Up Your Mind was talking about this um, moisturizer and she didn't know how it compared to the Glam Glow at all, but the way she was talking about it, um, I decided I would go and try it. It has a nice fresh clean scent. It doesn't smell like a creamsicle by any means, but this is very comparable, if not identical, to the um, Glam Glow one. I'm sure the ingredients are different, but what it does for my skin and how it feels on my skin, exactly the same. So if you do like this Glam Glow one and you are looking for a dupe for it, that again, not the scent, because, I mean, this is divine, but... I can't find the scent in the same kind of uh, formula. But if you're looking for a moisturizer that is a much cheaper price than this one, I would definitely check out this Neutrogena Hydro Boost because it definitely is very comparable, if not the same. Same for me. And those are all the items that the Canadians made me buy. Let me know in the comments below if any Canadians made you buy anything. I would like to know who they were and what you buy. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.